Now I have my Xperia X10 Mini Pro with an unlocked bootloader, uh, the NAA kernel installed and ready to go. I'm going to install Mini CM7. Before you do this, take yourself over to the um, the discussion thread over on the XTA developers forums. Um, you'll find all the downloads available for you there. You need to download two files. One is the um, the Google Apps document. So if you take yourself down Google Apps zip file, sorry, if you take yourself down to the instructions section, you'll see um, the link is there for Google Apps or G Apps, it's often referred to anyway. So download that, then download the Mini CM file a little bit further down at the bottom of the instructions. Copy both of those files to your SD card on your phone. And then when you're ready to go, turn on your phone and wait for the NAA logo to appear. Once the logo appears, you can press the back button repeatedly until you, here we are, and press it repeatedly until it goes into the Clockwork Mod Recovery. So now we take ourselves down to the option Install Zip from SD card. Oh, sorry, I take a tell a lie. Should wipe data factory reset before we go. So I need to choose wipe data factory reset from the first menu, and then scroll down to yes to delete all the data, and off it goes, wiping its data. Now I'm going to go down to install zip from SD card. Oh, a quick mention, um, there's quite common, commonly people go through sort of wiping a whole series of things like the cache and, um, battery stats. Personally, I don't think this really makes a huge world of difference. Um, there's been recent um, debunking of a certain myth about battery stats that a Google engineers basically said it doesn't make any difference because the file gets rebuilt all the time. Totally up to you. Wipe everything if you want to. I just wipe the data and then choose to install the zip from the SD card. So I'm going to choose the first option, which is to choose the zip from the SD card. So I'm going to scroll. If you've got a lot of files in your SD card like me, you can go up to go to the bottom of the list from the top and then choose the mini cm7 zip file for your device so i'll choose that scroll down to yes to install it and then the device will run its little script and update it itself using using as you can see or you can't see but i'll tell you what it's doing it basically wipes system cache and the dalvik cache before copying the system over anyway so to assert, I mean, apart from the data partition, it does wipe quite a lot of bits and pieces. So it's totally up to you if you want to kind of do all that manually first, just to be sure. So it's copying the system over. I'm going to pause the video, and when it's uh, moved on, I'll, I'll resume it. Okay, when it finishes copying over the system, it will um, just uh, do a small bits of sort of tidying up, and it gives you a reminder to flash the Google Apps. So that's what I'm going to do now. So it takes me back to the uh, apply update from zip file on SD section here. So I'm going to choose zip from SD card again. Again, scrolling to the bottom of the list because that's where the files are, coming up to the folders. I'll choose the uh, G apps file. Select that. Confirm that yes, I do want to install it. And off it goes, installs the Google Apps, a lot smaller than updating the whole firmware. So, and then we are, and then we're done. So now we're done, and choose back. And I'm going to power off the device. So power it off, and it's shut down. And then there's the device off, and we need to start up again. Okay, there's the kernel boot logo. Should be shortly followed by the boot animation. There we are. There's the Cyan Gen Mod 7 boot animation. It'll take quite a while because it's the first boot, so at that point I'm going to stop the video. And uh, thank you very much for watching. There's a, at the moment there are a few little fixes that need to be done on the Mini Pro. Um, there's a touch bug and a um, 
keyboard like fix that you'll need to do if you refer to the discussion thread over on the XTA forums for details and uh, everything should run wonderfully. Thanks.